Hi everybody and welcome back to this fantastic tutorial for Cinema 4D. This is Moises Perez aka Moilobito and I am very glad you are still here with us. In the following lessons we will continue modeling some of the details for the buildings. So let's begin. And this is where we were last time. And we are going to start by creating a new cube. And we are going to use this cube to make a new door for the second building and now here on the front view we're going to resize this cube so it fits the polygon that we have on the background that one right there so let's just do that and just scale this up and place it there in the middle and now we can just uh, shrink it horizontally there that will work so now let's come to the perspective view and here we can see that we have to make this a little bit thinner so let's just uh, go ahead and do that maybe a little bit more okay okay so now uh, we're good and we can place this cube back and now we can go ahead and let's hide some of the different elements that we have so we can work only with this cube and now we can make this an editable object and let's undo that and let's first uh, Select this object, this cube, and let's just change the segment. So we're going to use 2 for X and 2 for Y. And now we can make this an editable object. Okay. So now we're going to go to the polygon mode and select the only select visible element option. And we're going to select the four polygons and using the extrude inner tool and making sure that the preserve groups option is turned off, we're going to make an inner extrusion. And now we're going to switch to the extrude tool and let's make sure that the create caps option is turned off. And we're going to make a regular extrusion. Okay. And now uh, let's just uh, make sure that these polygons are not going all the way through the door. So let's just uh, push them a little bit. And now they're good. So now we can turn on the visibility for the rest of the building. Now let's just check everything out. Okay, and we can make a quick render. And Let's just uh, rename this cube to door. And we're going to place it inside of the group for the first floor on the second building. So now we can consider this building finished. And we're going to go to Google Earth to see what kind of windows we have to make for the third building. So we're going to take one of the windows from the first building and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to use it on the third building and of course we're going to make sure that they fit so let's first center these new windows and now we can scale them together and make sure that they are centered again and here we're going to just uh, rename this to window A, make a new copy and move it to the right and rename this new copy to window B. And now we can duplicate this window B and rename it to window C and just uh, move it to the right. Now let's come to the perspective view 
and here we're going to duplicate this and let's just uh, make sure that all of these windows are centered okay and let's uh, rename this one and just uh, center it that's okay so now let's come to the perspective view and here we are going to select all of these windows and place them inside a new group and let's just uh, rename this group and now we're going to just um, open some of these doors okay so they don't look the same and the last one okay so now we're finished with that and we can now place this fourth floor inside of the building all three group and make a render so now we're going to select the building and let's come to the front view and here we're going to turn on the x-ray option for this building O3 and let's select those points there okay and uh, let's make sure that uh, we have this on the select visible elements option turned off so we select also the points that are behind and now using the rectangle selection let's select all of those points and just move them down So now we can come to the perspective view and here we are just going to make sure that everything is okay and now we are going to take uh, this fourth floor and make a copy and we are going to rename it to third floor and now we are going to move those windows down and of course we have to scale them down as well so they fit there okay just a little bit more and now they are okay and here on the perspective view we can see that they are they are okay so we're just going to modify how open and how close these windows are so they don't look exactly the same as the ones that we have on the fourth floor they look a little bit different so let's just uh, do that okay so now they look different and we're going to go to the second building and we're going to duplicate these arches so let's just find one of them and make a copy that one just copy and paste and now we are going to take this arch and we're going to place it on the third floor so just move it let's get closer to see this a little bit better and work uh, more precisely and just move it down okay and now we are going to take that bottom part and move it up there and now we let's select this tube and we're going to delete those points there because we didn't need them anymore and move this other point 
so this is the correct size and now this is finished so we can make some copies and use them for the other windows so let's duplicate that and place it there and we're going to have to modify this a little bit more but first um, let's make the rest of the copies so copy and paste it and just move it to the right and do the same for the last window just make a copy and place it on on that window and now let's come to the perspective view and see how this is looking so far and it looks very good so now we can select all of these new sets of windows and we're going to place them inside of this third floor which belongs to the third building and now this is what we have to do here because this uh, we have to merge these arches together and we can leave them like that and no one will really notice that it is uh, two different objects but i think that it's better that we do the right thing so we're going to modify the whole thing and to do that we're going to come to the top view and go to the point mode select the rectangle selection tool select all of those points and move them to the right like so and now that part is done and now we're going to select the arches themselves and let's select this one and let's come to the point mode and we're going to get rid of the points that we don't need the extra ones so using the rectangle selection tool we're going to just take those points move them up and select the rest of the points and delete them and we're going to do the same with the other one so now we can delete this lathe and we're going to keep the one that we modified and we're going to find this arch and make a selection and we're just going to duplicate that selection so we have only these polygons here as a separate object so now we're going to just modify this so it is the same size as the two objects together and we're going to just move it a little bit more and we're going to take those points up that's okay there and well, let's just uh, move this a little bit more so now uh, we're going to hide these new two and select this arch and select the point mode so we're going to select those points there and just uh, delete them and now this is finished we just have to turn on the visibility for the other part place it on the same group and the last thing that we have to do now is to take that bottom part and unify it because at this point there are two parts so we're going to just uh, have one so let's find it and we're going to 
take it and just uh, make it bigger like that and now we're going to hide it and select the other one and just delete this delete that part and delete that one as well and now it is only one part so now we can come to the perspective view and make sure that everything is okay that it all looks well together and it looks very good so we're just going to finish uh, by cleaning our workspace so let's go and turn off the x-ray for the third building and let's place this group on the building of three group and now we are finished so we can now make another render and we're finished so this is all for this part of the tutorial and i will see you on the next lesson thanks for watching